total the further furthermore right what do we have as conjunctions to show contradiction and contrast the how is always asking about the mechanism the way the methodology another way of saying the way with the methodology is the process okay it's for 90 minutes okay now what are the components of of our midterm exam what what do you expect to come on the midterm exam definitely an outline and did you if you turn to page as i said it's it's on page cam 35 these are your corrected essays It's on page 39. Page 39. The one that you have on page 35 is the uh, uh, mind map, the, the bubble, uh, the, the way of clustering ideas. But the outline, the skeleton that we need to have it as a template, as a formal academic template, and this is the one that we're going to follow for our exams, is on page 39. Let's check the components. Section number one, paragraph number one, crystal clear, introduction. Then, what are the components of the introduction? Hook, background, sentences, and thesis statement. Mind you, if you are, asked, if you are given a topic and the, uh, the exam asks you to provide an outline for that topic, if you provide me with a full essay, even if the essay is well written, this is off point because this means that you could not interpret the question correctly. The quest, and many of you did that. Many of you did that on the first TMA. He asked you to provide an outline for this topic and not a full essay. Okay? Now, section number two, body paragraph one. What are the components? Topic sentence and supporting ideas. Supporting ideas usually come in bullet forms. Yeah, and I will write the topic sentence, right? And then supporting ideas. Why do they come down in bullets, like three or four bullets? Because the rest of the paragraph is nothing but further details, examples, personal anecdotes, statistics that support the main topic sentence. Tamam? This process is repeated as you go along for body paragraph two and three. And we end with the conclusion is on page 40. Two major things that we need to have on the conclusion. A restatement for the thesis statement. What do I mean by a restatement for the thesis statement? It's saying again, re reminding the reader again, of the thesis statement which encompass, which has, which includes the ideas of the whole essay. Clear? So I, I make him listen to it again. It's uh, 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 like, you remember when, uh, you remember the sandwich theory? People remember most what is said at and what is said at the end. That's why we take an extra care of the introduction and the conclusion. Sometimes some of the details mentioned all along the body paragraphs are not that much remembered, right? So you, be you better write a very good conclusion and a very good introduction. Mind you, write well proportioned paragraphs because I have noted, noticed that most of you, يعني, they write a very good introduction, three uh, 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 well-developed body paragraphs and then they come at the conclusion level they write three sentences don't ask me to spend this is fatal fatal this means that in Anna I came to give the class and abruptly I went out Mish I prepared you to for the end of the class and this is going to be the last thing that we discussed together. I abruptly took myself and went out of the class. Prepare your reader. 
with a good conclusion. Respect your ideas, because you, if you don't write a good conclusion, this means that you do not respect your ideas. مش انت اللي كاتب الاسي ده. And you should be able to summarize it, provide a restatement of the thesis statement, and provide an advice, a warning, drop an opinion. صح? Because you want to inspire the reader with these ideas. خلاص احنا عرفنا what are let me open the thing that we are having today today we will see our performance while taking a real midterm exam you will make use of myself being here with you because you will do the exam and we will have the answer key together and you will check what are the correct answers and what is expected from you. One component, as I discussed it, one major component on your midterm is an outline. What else could be the components of or the sections of the SE? Grammar. And this is usually overlooked by so many people. Do you remember the two sentences, the two simple sentences I got for you on the TMA? La gosh. So many of you did not do them correctly. غريبة جدا. You are responsible for the passive and active. If statement, subordinate clause and main clause. Do you remember this? You are responsible for all grammatical points that we discussed in class. Even if we did not have the time to finish all the uh, exercises on them. The conjunctions. I can get you two sentences, two main clauses and ask you to join them. It's up to you to think. Are they related in terms of reasoning? Are they related in terms of contradiction? Are they related in terms of addition? So that you will use the correct conjunction. In terms of addition, what do we have in addition? And. And. Added to that. Moreover. Further. Furthermore, right? What do we have as conjunctions to show contradiction and contrast? On the contrary. On the other hand, however, the most famous. Though and although, of course, nevertheless, and whereas. Sah? What conjunctions show reasoning? Taba. Because, due to, as a result, as a result of that, therefore, uh, consequently, all right, all these show uh, relations of reasoning, all results, and so on, okay? So, all the grammatical points are very important. Plus, we usually do what? On a paragraph, at a paragraph uh, level, kida. What do we usually do with the paragraph? If paragraph kida. We had a couple of exercises on it or more. Editing. 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 The, the, the most important thing is that you don't edit the correct sentences. But let me tell you a key about editing. You know that any language has music. صح? Sometimes أنا مش بكون عارف بالزبط. It's a very minor or unnoticeable mistake. يعني مستيك إن إن ترمز أوف أجريمنت أون نمبر فأنا عمال أقرأ بوث ستودنت كيم تو ذا يونيفرستي أند ستودنت شود بي تشينج تو ستودنتس بيكوز بوث هاز هاز ذا إمباكت أوف مور ذان ون سو ذا ناون أور ذا سبجكت شود كوم إن ذا بلورال فورم صح أنا أم ريدينج وذ ماي أون أيز وبعديها بعديها يعني أي دونت ستوب أت إت to correct it, and I lost the mark. Language has music. يعني, if you read it كده, both students, you'll find yourself able to say it out loud because your ear got used to it. So you make use when you do the editing, specifically, make use of إنك تقراها كده and تسمع شوية, all right? Not during the midterm exam while you're practicing for. The midterm exam. I, I finished the announcements. Now, time for 
Time for the exam. But this is an individual work. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I will not be very uh, tough in the sense, bus. That exam asks you to follow or to write an outline. خلاص? You may, but this will not happen during the midterm exam or the final exam. You may consult page 39 to page 40 of your book so that you see the model or the template for the outline and follow to the letter. Okay? Go ahead and good luck. Optimally, this should be done in 60 minutes. Stabling. Andrew, would you come here? Exam. Would you would you take your copies and give to the rest of the people? To have extras, say editing and grammar and structure. Now I want each one to tell me which part was the most challenging for him or her. Which part? Collectively. Collectively. صح? Because the essay in itself is a process and a lengthy one, or because of the topic's natures, it makes a difference. Topics, natures, huh? Having, Having enough time. Don't worry, in the real midterm exam, you'll have 90 minutes. Yani, this time plus 30 minutes to edit and review and have another look and so on, okay? Now, I want to share this with you. I want to share, this is the cover page, a typical cover page. This look, after the first, the cover page, it tells you, this is the answer key. And these are the topics. And actually, he pinpointed the type of essay each topic is addressing. Did you guess that the first one that is telling you about the challenge that you faced and how you, over, you did overcome it, did you think that it could fall into the process analysis type of essay? Oh, la'a. La'a, how many la'a? Hulena la'a. How many are? Sometimes the essay topic or the, the, the topic from does not lead you directly. And you should be all like, write a process analysis essay on the topic above. Make sure that you have written uh, three body paragraphs and so on. لا. ولا be all like, write an argument and highlight your opinion concerning one of the two arguments and support one of the two arguments. لا. So he gives you the topic and he leaves it for you to determine the type of uh, essay that this topic falls into. If I look at this hobby only, how did you overcome it? So when you mean, what does he mean by how did you overcome it? In order to overcome something, the ma'na inna I carried out specific procedures and steps. Sah? Carrying out specific procedures and steps ma'naha? It was a process. Right or not, wrong? parking, it's a process. لازم تدوس على حاجة الأول and then تنزل the handbrake and كل الحاجات دي صح? So, if I am really confused, I read again. إيه الحاجة اللي خلتني to think that this could fall into the process analysis? أيوة. The steps, where is it? Write a story about that time, including how you dealt with it. The how, the how is always asking about the mechanism, the way, the methodology. Another way of saying the way or the methodology is the process, okay? Optimally speaking, for that topic, if I am one of you and I chose to write about this topic, have to be thesis statement to say, because one of you asked me, هو أنا هكتب في statement على story صح؟ how do how would I come up with a thesis statement a typical thesis statement for this topic I write it in red bad bad type ha that's a totally off point question a 
typical thesis statement would look like what? Give it to me. Did you choose this topic? Would you give me your thesis statement? That you should follow a specific step. Say it again, Lena. What's challenging in it or in that is that you should follow specific steps. Who are with? <laughs> it's unclear, okay? Let's assume that the type of challenge that I face in my life is how to learn to drive. It's a major challenge. They are scared by nature. They, they panic easily and so on and so forth. صح? So a major challenge for me was to learn how to drive. خلاص? And I had to be thesis statement on that topic. So I would say This is my thesis statement concerning the challenge that I had. And it's, it's really serious. If you look at the way you, 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 you learn to drive, it's a challenge because you're responsible for a vehicle and you're, respons you're responsible for people, uh, pedestrians in the street, yani people who walk in the street so that you would not cause somebody to lose his marafshi e life and so on. The major challenge of learning how to drive required Courage, any yani courage, to be brave, kid, and uh, you you take the the challenge, attention, as well as strong mentoring. You know the meaning of mentoring, observation from the trainer, sir. Naturally speaking, how many paragraphs do I have? واحد عن وأتكلم عنها and I provide details. مش هي added includes specific details about your challenge. The second body paragraph will, will be attention. So that I on details like do not speak over the mobile, do not uh, get busy with something. And I narrate certain incidents. Somebody مثلاً, diverted from lane kaza to lane kaza because he was over the mobile and so on. That's me. This means, and this falls under highlighting one point. Pay attention to the road. Tamam? The third is strong mentoring from the trainer. If you are learning your uh, first steps in driving, it's better to have somebody who guides you. Uh, leave that space. When you park, you park in that way. So I covered the three ideas or not. And all the information is based about on my experience. Is it a clear thesis statement? It is. How many of you drafted the thesis statement in case you chose the first topic? How many of you drafted a similar? And how many chose the first topic? The introduction is a clear thesis statement. This is the light in the darkness. Amira, Generally, the 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 Write an essay on the effects of that crystal clear. It seems that it falls into which uh, type cause and effect. I was asked by one of the students, Bushra, who is active in causes with effects? Do you remember last time when I gave you that question prompt? 
and I asked you to study or to analyze both the causes, the causes and the effects. صح؟ فأنا رديت عليك وقلت لك يا بشرة. It depends on the request, on the essay prompt. هو طالب إيه؟ And this is very important. You should be able to hear the requests. Lee, because if I was misguided and assume something, that means I'm going to have to be asked to do it again. When I write a totally different essay, that means I'm going to be off point. That means loss of marks. Write an essay on the effects of poverty. Poverty. It's very clear in how I see, I see effects. Your thesis statement should highlight a. Thank you very much. Try to offer ideas and ways to help those in need to overcome this problem. So my thesis statement should highlight the effects and possible ways of solutions. I will I will be a typical student and I will write a typical thesis statement on that topic. Look at this. Sorry, and I will. I, I, I usually need it in in red. Uh, what's the meaning of? Uh, yeah, because this is American, but it's correct when you write it like that in the British system. Because we're using American systems. This labor, they color, C O L O R. This if I write color with a U, Adian. Not color. Uh, uh, another one with an O U, favor, favor, favor. Child mm. labor as well as uh, women abuse. This statement, critique it if you wish and see whether it caters to the topic or not. It says the effects of poverty ranges from illiteracy or include, looking to, to choose include. Illiteracy and e. And I explain the difference between illiteracy and ignorance. Child labor as well as women abuse. So these are the effects. But because the question from did not ask me only to provide effects or the, to discuss the effects, he asked you, he asked me to discuss the possible solutions or suggestions for solutions. All these effects could be overcome in case of following a specific national plan. What do you think? In this case, my thesis statement was not one statement. Am I allowed to do that? That's why it is called a statement, right? Right? And we discussed that before. Just a second. We discussed that before. Yeah, uh, any of the presidents, when they come to uh, face the public, we, we, we tell the, the public, listen to uh, she means statement. Will he say one sentence and then bye-bye? Statement here means speech, right? So. I am allowed to write one sentence or two sentences as a thesis statement. Does the thesis statement make it clear to the reader the ideas that each paragraph is going to tackle? Oh, the first paragraph is going to talk about or discuss, and the second, and the third, women abuse. And 
definitely we're going to offer a suggestion to overcome each effect in each individual paragraph. يعني في نفس الباراجراف that I'm discussing the effect, I'm saying طب إحنا هنعمل كذا كذا to overcome this. And on the second paragraph, discussing for example child labor, so the government should do كذا كذا to to avoid this. Do you understand, guys? Push right. I had a question. I have to mention everything in the thesis statement. Yani, I mean, مثلا, Nana, I didn't mention the uh, the suggestions in the thesis statement, but I integrated and I them. I did not mention the suggestions as well. Yani, a he still remains vague, still remains unclear. He a national plan di. صح؟ I didn't mention it at all. I mentioned it inside the paragraphs, but not in. The لا, this means this means that you overlook part of the requirements of the essay. صح؟ هو قال not only the effects but also possible solutions to overcome these effects. How many of you chose this topic? Did did it come closer to this? Yes, yes. خلي بالك تاني. Thesis statement is the light in the darkness. يعني إيه is the light in the darkness. أنا أول ما أرى ال introduction. Your thesis statement has to be crystal clear to guide me through the way. يعني إيه through the way هي إيه ال ideas that you're going to include in your essay. أدي paragraph one, two, and واللي قبله أدي paragraph في one, two, and three. I don't mind at all if your thesis statement starts with this essay is going to discuss, this essay illustrates, this essay attempts to discuss or elaborate. Do you understand? Okay? I will not tell you يعني, my comments now about what you came up with. But you can write a checklist. Checklist is مفيدة جدا جدا. Make sure that your essay includes all of these uh, components. Does the essay have five paragraphs? Oh, oh, إمتى؟ لما paragraph يبقى well developed paragraph. Do not think that one or two lines is a paragraph. صح؟ صح؟ Oh, يعني well developed. Well, conclusion. You took care of it. كتبت ال conclusion. You abuse your own ideas if you do not write a good conclusion. If there's a hook statement, oh, if there's a thesis statement, oh, hopefully. Does each body paragraph include a new idea? Mafrood in a topic sentence. Are the main ideas in the body paragraph supported by a examples, details, description? In Mafrood, did you did you logically uh, did you use logical connectors? Yani la will acid tag cause an effect has tamil a Therefore, as a result of that, that's why consequently, صح؟ لو الأسيب تاي process analysis like the first one has تعمل إيه؟ First, comma. Second, after that, afterwards, then next, finally, صح؟ مفروض. Does the conclusion restate, summarize, provide suggestions? And so on. In mafrud, is my grammar accurate and the language is clear and coherent? Remember, your EL 117 is going to be paper and pen exam. They should be able to write a clear with a clear handwriting. صح? Do not be in a rush. خلاص بقى أنا خلصت. هي قبل ال 90 minutes تخلص. Take a minute to have a second look, a fresh look on your essay. ممكن تكون في كام نقصة. Aspect plural not so. This all counts. Well, in the ten as daragotli, this all counts. I take a look before you give me the paper. Before you give the proctor the paper, next to edit your essay. Mungkin? Mafrud. Are my sentences varied in structure between simple to more complex? يعني مش بلاقي you 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 كتير. عشان ده غلط. We use passive. Well, this is a, a, a very clear, clear uh, comment I had for you for your essay. 
يا جماعة when we use a process analysis uh, type of assay you better use the passive because the doer of the action usually the same person صح؟ to avoid the repetition of the same subject use the passive عارفين passive؟ you need passive you focus on the action the action of the sentence not the doer يعني he handed in the paper أنا ماليش دعوة به he's not my focus يهمني ان ال paper was handed in مش لازم by him كمان يهمني ان ال paper was handed in do you understand I focus on the action do you understand okay في حاجة كمان مهمة جدا الران اون سنتنسز اللي هو ما تعرفش السنتنس بتبدا وهتنتهي فين؟ اخر الباراجراف. نو سنس اوف كوماز، نو سنس اوف سنتنس سبلت واستعمل فول ستوب اند سو اون. ليه؟ عشان انا بكتب زي ما بفكر، زي ما بتكلم. اوكي؟ ذيس ار فيري امبورتنت ثينجز. وبلاش امبورتنت. 15 امبورتنت. مش ممكن. يعني ده في كلمة اسمها ميجر في كلمة اسمها فايتال uh, في كلمة اسمها كريتيكال صح؟ جميل بصوا بقى هاو دو اي جريد يو؟ الكونتنت هاز فايف ماركس الاورجنايزيشن هاز لانجويج بقى جرامر لانجويج ميكانكس وسبيلنج وبانكتويشن عليها فايف ذس ميكس ذا 15 تمام؟ And this is where you're supposed to provide the outline for the essay that you've chosen. And he essay template that I should stick to. Which essay tem uh, which outline template that I should st stick to? Which page? Page 39 to 40. Page 39 to 40 are the most important pages in your life. Until you get done with the midterm and the final exam. خلاص? نيجي هنا بقى افتحوا الورق بتاعكم على الاديتنج That's the first one هو حط دايلين بين تو كومز ليه؟ 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 ليه حط دو Did you do it? ما لو معنى ان انا بسال ومحدش رد عليا محدش عملها صح؟ طب ليه حط الدوال ان بتوين تو انفيرتد كومز؟ يس بالظبط مش احنا قلنا بنحط الاكسترا انفورميشن بتوين تو انفيرت تو كومز عشان هو وي فريم ذم يعني ايه وي فريم ذم؟ اتس اوبشنال هحطك بالفريم بتاعك يو نو ذا مينينج اوف ا فريم؟ لايك ا بيكتشر فريم صح؟ او هشيلها بالفريم بتاعك ليه؟ ماي سيستر ان لو افتكرت ان اسمها ايه؟ دايلن عايز احطها لك لكن السنتنس will be grammatically and meaningful will be grammatically correct and meaningful if I choose to take out دايلن my sister in law is running for office in our country عارفين يعني ايه running for office yes okay طيب ما عملتوهاش الحمد لله she wants a seat on the country board of supervisors يعني she's running for elections for a specific syndicate يعني نقابة معينة assembly معينة and so on there will be two دي واضحة جدا two can see it واحدة you should provide the S of the plural did you do it? mark yourself كل غلطة ب 0.5 بجد open and I think she has a good Chance, that's a misspelling, yes. The board regulates misspelling as well. Uh, it is considered a part-time job. يعني الأدتين سهل أوي. Basic. ده سهل أوي. It is considered a part-time job, but the supervisors عملناها حطينا verb to be in the plural form are always busy. People call them every time. Huh? طبعا there is a problem people call them whenever there is a problem لما بيكون في problem okay oh my it's the same by the way this is the abbreviated form yes I don't really know why she wanted the job so I 
صح عملناها in the past yes Dal and I said why do you want this job you provided a verb صح how many marks out of the four وكل غلطة بنص هو it's very easy the grammar part هو قال هنا change into the passive Again, I repeat all the grammatical points. In how how many how many how many unit, units are we studying for the midterm exam? What, what are they? Unit one. It was the general principles of a five-paragraph essay writing and so on. What is unit two about? Process analysis essay. Unit three, cause and effect. And unit four argumentative opinion essay right so we're supposed to study them carefully and study all the exercises and the answer key is posted on the LMS someone has already paid the electrician for his work so yes ah because we have two objects here and then an electrician وكمان الشغل بتاعه اوكي ناو اه someone has already paid what's the tense what's the tense present participle صح who's the object the electrician is the direct object okay now the electrician has ولا have ولا had has لي because I need to keep the same tag, صح؟ وهو singular. So I should not keep use. طيب. بعد ال has. PP. PP. What's the P? Uh, sorry. Uh, what's the past participle for? Uh, verb to be. And the past participle for pay. For his job. Okay? Number two. Uh, we said that we'll turn, yani we will not do number two. He left the room. Di ma'amula. Quietly. Lay quietly, mish quiet. Why did I choose quietly, not quiet? Because I need an adverb to describe the way he left the room, i.e. the action of, the action of the sentence. Give me. I enjoyed the book. The book, it was very interesting. If John worked harder. A question. Uh, a question. A question. Which, which type or which case of if this sentence? Type 2, which is? Uh, unrealistic. Not imaginary. Unrealistic. Yani hoa. Felen gimit akhar. Sah? Type. So, if John worked hard, he, he, plus the past tense of would, uh, of will, which is, he would, بعديha, بعد any modal verb we use, the infinitive, he would, get, مثلا, more money, get a promotion, uh, get done with the tasks, أي حاجة, right? I hope this was a good practice before our midterm exam. I wish you the best of luck. Inshallah, you'll do well. I just need to give you the papers. The essay. Please read my comments thoroughly. Muhammad Hamid. Wallah, you have good English. Sarah, kida lana kabe. The comments in the wara. Maryam Ali. Where's Maryam Ali? ما جاتش منا طلا محمد الابياري الابياري فيري جود خد يا مار يا منا آه لينا طارق لينا طارق مرعبه زهور سكا زهور نسرينا يا 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 حلوه نسرينا مريم احمد ثانك يو مريم ما آه ماري مريم محمود حسن والله برو مون منى
Sumaya. Zalana Minik. Kin Sumaya. She's not here. Do you want to give it to her? Okay. Amira. I don't Dalia. Mustafa. Bravo, ya Dalia. Uh, Lina Muhammad. Atiya. Ida. Sara Sameh. Where is Sara Sameh? She's not here. Idal. Uh, Maryam Mahmoud Hassan. Inti? Want to get some tamin? Would that take Bardu? Would that take? Bravo, Alik. Andrew. Andrew, yours was uh, a piece of art. Hello, Awi. Minna Khalaf? Fahlan Awi. Wish Awi. Yeah. Minna Khalaf. And? La Wallah. Yasmin Muhammad? Yasmin Muhammad, do we have her? Uh, Bush. Thank you, guys. I'll see you. I'll I'll see you next time. Oh, Mr. Wahsh. I'll see you during the exam. Just before we leave, I wish you the best of luck. And I did not take the attendance. I need to take the attendance.